the Book of Kells actually contains a fourfold gospel made up of the individual gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And in the early church, Christian commentators were concerned to defend this arrangement when speaking with heretics or with pagans to show that the four gospels, although very different from each other in many ways, were reflecting the same truth. They were, they explained, like the four rivers of paradise flowing out from a single fountain to water the four corners of the earth. It seems to me that it could be the production of a, a sort of research team who've gone all over Europe, inquired into the latest trends, understood what a, what a great book could be like, and have joined in with the ideas of many other people how to develop the ornaments in a great gospel book. Kells may have been produced at the perimeters of the known world, but what it's doing is central to European culture. In the prefatory pages of the Book of Kells, there are a series of arcades, very lavishly decorated, and they are setting out the canon tables. This is a series of concordances. There are lists here of numbers which should correspond with numbers in the margins of the Gospel text, so that a reader would be able to see what all four Gospels have in common, or what any three of them have in common, any two of them, and what is unique to each. And these are displayed in traditional manner under architectural arches in a long sequence. We are walking, as it were, through a series of arcades towards the sacred text of the fourfold gospel. One of the great images used by the early Christian commentators was that of the four beasts, which they came to associate with the four evangelists. So they took together two visions, one from the Old and one from the New Testament. From the Old Testament, they pondered the extraordinary mystical vision of the prophet Ezekiel, who had a great revelation of the majesty and divinity of God.